So hi guys, we're here at uh, Clark Museum. So we still have time to before we meet uh, Casa Texpina, George and Emmy. So we decided to come and visit and check what's inside. All right, so this is the front of the Clark Museum. Let's go inside. So ito yung entrance nila guys. Tapos dito kayo magbayad siya. And then, left turn tayo. Pupunta tayo dito. Ito yung loob. Diyan si Charles. There you go. They also have um, 4D. And the entrance is 100 pesos here. Ayan. Ayan yung entrance nila. And then if you watch a 4D, another 100. So, total 200 yung entrance if you watch the 4D. The 4D tells about the history of the Clark before and today. So, let's see. So I'm glad that it's allowed to take a video inside because the museum in Manila, you cannot do a video, only pictures. Well, upstairs has all the air base and in here? The Mount Pinatuba. Yeah, in here, upstairs section here? three and four. This is all about the herd, the hidden plants, the deal. But upstairs, it's got all about the base, the mountain, the two little rugs. So, they have some this stones in here. Stone. This is limestone. Oh, limestones. Wow. See, we have limestone and sandstone in Kansas. Uh huh. Sandstones. Oh, yeah. Different type of stones. Look at that. So I will explain this one to Charles. This is panonuyo. Okay, panonuyo means when you're courting mm -hmm. to a woman. Mm -hmm. So this is how you, you the know, traditional, traditional courtship. courtship. So after here, panonuyo, this is magina, mother and child. And this one is kasal, when you get married, kasalan. So they also have here um, Almasen de Parian Almasen de Parian So I, I don't know what's Almasen de Parian guys The Chinese have always been intrepid traders and merchants throughout the world And then Dito Wow, beautiful picture And Tendera ng Bulaklak So Tendera ng Bulaklak Selling Flowers, tendera, dito magina ulit. Dalawa yung magina. And then this area, guys, you can see their handicrafts also here uh, for making a lanterns, different styles, different designs. This side they have bangka. Wow, meron silang bangka dito. Ayun. So I thought only me and Charles are here, but there are some people in here. Okay. So this one. Wow. Very nice. So I don't know some of you if you come here in this area or if you already visited this place but if you didn't visit yet please come it's not that very expensive it's only 100 pesos and you could see a lot of things in here and you could learn something you know in the history see there are, these are the what bolos what Farm tools, Farm tools early metal tools, mortar and pestle, pestle and mortar, knives, 
And ano ba sa Tagalog to? Okay. Iwa dogger with wooden scabbard. Ayan. Di ba guys? So marami kayong makakita dito na you know, hindi nyo nakikita dati. So makakita natin dito. On this side, nagsisiba. So going to church. And here is Santa Cruz. So this is uh, usually they do this in Catholic every month of May. Every month of May. And then on this side, this is Merienda Sena. Is it Merienda is having a snacks? Because that's a that's a kind of Spanish thing. And they have this wall design here with the church and of course the lanterns so one of the best thing that i like in pampanga when you visit pampanga is their beautiful lanterns so every time I come pampanga i can i can uh, you know i like to buy one of their beautiful lanterns and then finally i got one i have it at home and the saints these are all the saints in here so. wow what he's doing here oh he's making a clay so meaning there's a place in here that they made a clay clay pots see it's pretty so let's see what place is this one a pottery making yeah oh it's in a pallet pampanga wow see on this side also they have uh oh daddy that's the holy week thing yeah. of catholic you know Catholic Church and then this one is all the crowns jewelries or something they put on their head their neck look at this they still have all of this wow amazing this area is Pandayan metal craft making so more on copper and copper yan guys ang ganda para siyang para siyang tree na nasa kung pumupunta kayo ng mga cliff sa dagat ang kita mo to ang ganitong style na tree kasi sa amin marami eh yan tingnan nyo guys super nice ang ganda ng pagkagawa no meron din dito uh, combination of copper and wood I don't think if it's allowed to touch, but it doesn't say do not touch. But it looks good. Very amazing. Look at this. Ang dami, oh. Maganda to siya sa ano, guys. Ha. This is nice idea, you know, on decorating your house. This is good. I like it. You know, and this is nice. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, perfect. This area here is um, using a rope or a rattan, and they make a dogs, lions, and some other animal stuffs. It's so amazing. I love it. Tingnan nyo guys. Ang ganda diba? Ang gawa nila. Ang galing ng Pilipino. So if you guys wanna visit this place, please come. Amazing. You know, parang ano na lang din. Mayroon tayong makikita na iba-iba um, naman ng mga nagagawa ng mga Pinoy. Because I never expect they have the museum guys. Like this. You know. 
amazing so maliit lang siya hindi naman siya ganun ka ano kalaki yung kanilang museum so let's see if they have the uh, second floor okay, so far this is on the first floor alright guys let's go to the second floor what's this one here again daddy it's a trolley but it's what the workers would get on the track to go down the track mm -hmm. and they pumped it with hand by hand oh made it go. I think I saw this one in the movie uh -huh. So we're in the second floor, guys. By the way, we're in the second you guys floor. Actually, had trains. I know. Railroad system all the way through Luzon. Yeah, we have railroad there. Amazing. We still have there, Daddy. Working, still working. Yeah, no. But I said this was way back in the day. Yeah. Ninety years old. Wow. Wow. It built in 1920? Wow! From here, this is the entire second floor. I'll show you so you guys can see. Kasi baka hindi ko maikot lahat ba? Ayan. Yan lang yung itsura niya. Simple lang. Pero lapitan mo siya. Para makita mo yung mga, kung ano yung nakalagay dyan sa mga glass na yan. Ayan, oh. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Ang ganda. This is the, oh, the killer lahar. This is when the Mount Pinatubo erupted. Look at what happened before. It's like they're doing a, a, scene, of, a scene of what happened before. Wow. I don't know. 
Philippines? Maybe because it's in here. Wow. This is nice. Well, these are huge selling ice chests in the United States. Very, very expensive. I don't know if this one still exists. Yeah, Yeti's still made. Oh, really? Because I don't see this one in the store. Wow, Paring Rick. Your instruments are here. <laughs> wow. So guys, we're here at Clark and we're at the Clark Museum today. We're just taking a little time. A historic museum, it talks a lot of, it shows a lot of the local history on native art, native clothing, uh, things like that. And then the second floor is all about uh, the Clark Air Base from way, way back. And then, I mean, even before World War One, it shows Clark Air Base and through World War Two, and up, even to Mount Pinatuba. Then the other side of it has the new Clark Free Zone, what they what they've done since the base is closed. So really, really interesting. A lot of a lot of history, some neat stuff up there. To re look and at. they also have the 4D, but we didn't go. Yeah, they have a 4G movie that you can go sit in and, and watch. We didn't watch it this time. We'll catch it next time. But. Uh, really nice. It's right here on the old Clark Air Base. Uh, real easy to get to. to. Come check it out. 100 pesos per person to go in. This is the main parade ground. Uh, I mean, this is even back in World War II. This is where they had huge ceremonies, drilling ceremonies, change of command, promotions. It's a big parade ground. Also, an exercise area during fitness training. But this was the main command area right in here, but this was the main hub. So back in World War One and World War Two, they had been after on some horses and mounted cavalry and all the way to the... Yeah, this is a huge park. Yeah. Very pretty, Very nice neat, park. clean and granary. Yeah. They have a rubber mat uh, running track all the way around this matting. You can do some jogging, walking and biking. Wow, this is a quiet place, guys. Quite pretty. Those are the original houses. Housing? During Clark. Housing plan or something? No, no there's original housing, base housing. Ah, base housing. Uh, there, you can tell. Oh, by yeah. The floor. And the same, I know, uh, roof. The raised, yeah. Just, yeah. So, so is there any people uh, living there right now? Yeah, there are probably buildings of offices or something. Ah. So alright guys, ayan yung ating video for today. I hope you uh, enjoy our video. I hope the video is helpful. You know, kasi uh, nowadays, most of the students is online. So upload natin to. And then sana ma-share ninyo. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channels. And so shout out to Casa Texpina. We'll be, we will be meeting them in a few minutes. Ayan. So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, guys. Casa Texpina, YouTube channel. Ayan, naglalakad na ako papunta sa kotse. And 10 minutes away lang naman sa, ano, sa restaurant. Ayan, so I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys for joining us today. Have a great day and see you guys in my next video. Bye!